Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and welcome to this episode of Islamic teaching we will be speaking about the moral system in Islam so one of the most important aspect of the Muslim life is how is to have high moral standards since the beginning of Islam Prophet Muhammad was mainly concerned with teaching and disciplining Muslims to have the best manner. His personal life and behavior were reflective of his teaching which were re revealed by, to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the Holy Quran, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the characteristics of Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him Allah says what, may, what means and indeed you are of a great moral character Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him guided his companions to the noble manner and had established himself as a role model not just for the Muslim society but also for all mankind to follow Prophet Muhammad blessing and peace be upon him used to emphasize how important good manner are to the, for the Muslim he said in one of the narrations the best of you is the best among you in the conduct in another narration, a narration where it's been reported that Prophet Muhammad mentions that the heaviest, the heaviest thing to be placed in the balance of the believing on the day of the judgment will be good behavior. And also it's been reported that Prophet Muhammad said when he been asked what is the good deed and what is the deed will lead man to the paradise he answered piety and good conduct prophet muhammad when he established himself as a good as a role model for manner he used to be nice and kind truthful for uh, for all people that he deal with them he also said one in the one of the narrations the most perfect man in his faith among believers is the one whose behavior is the most excellent and the best of you those who are the best to their families when we speak about how Islam has established the moral system we have to know that the moral system in Islam hasn't changed since the, the Prophet Muhammad since the Prophet Muhammad life till day so we cannot shape and design the moral system according to our desire and according to our culture the moral system in Islam is has fundamental basics that will not change and remain forever because it's driven from a source which is a divine source and it's been really revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the system the moral system of Islam cannot be manipulated or be shaped to to fit our desires or our culture and it never changed since more than 1400 years and it will never change the basic fundamental of the moral system in Islam that we want a behavior or conduct is constitute a good behavior as per the rules and the principles set, by, set in the Holy Quran and in also in the Prophet Muhammad teaching so even if the society agreed as a whole to accept what is considered by Islam not a good behavior it will not be considered as a good behavior by the society 
Because only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who can determine what is acceptable as a conduct and what is not acceptable. In the Holy Quran, you can find a lot of details and it's clearly mentioned the significance of the good manners. Just like it, it mentions other important aspects our, of our beliefs or, or, and of also how the Muslim worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the Holy Quran, in several, in several texts, it mentions several good acts and morality as, aspect. For example, how a Muslim deals with his parents and he should deal with them in, a, in the best manner. And also, it mentioned that the, person, the Muslim have to act in a nice way and should be kind when he is dealing with the other in the society. In the Holy Quran and also in the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad, it is mentioned that the Muslim have to take care of the orphans and the people that are in need and poor people. It's essential for Muslim to be honest, to be transparent, and to act in a good manner. In the Noble Quran, it goes far to teach us the way that we should walk. Allah says, and be moderate in your walking, and also it says, the most merciful are those who walk upon the earth in modesty. In the Noble Quran also, it tells us, the Holy Quran teach us the way we should behave in the gathering. For example, if you have an event and you were invited to this event, the Islamic teaching and Islamic principles will guide you how to sit among the persons and the people that are attending this event. Allah says, or who you have believed, when you are told, space yourself in assemblies, then make space. To this extent, Islam teach us how to behave with others and how should our relationship be with, uh, with the others. So, if we are to actually practice the saying and the action of the Prophet Muhammad, we should find that there are many lessons we have to learn when we are eating or we are, when we are drinking or when we are dressing, sleeping, traveling, greeting and talk and taking permission. One of the aspects that in the Islamic learning is if you want to go and enter someone else's house, so before you enter his house, you have to ask for his permission. So you're not, you're not, you're not allowed to enter anyone's house, even if it's someone of, of your relatives, you have to, to take his permission and his uh, approval to, before you enter his house. Islam goes beyond this when it teach us how we have to act and behave also with the animals. So Prophet Muhammad said, fear Allah when you treat the animals, take care of them, keep them in a good health, whether you ride them or you are raising them for their meat. If we look around, there's no other ethical system that can match Islamic rules and Islamic principles ethical principles. So only Allah, with His great wisdom, could have made such system that teach humans how to deal with every aspect of their life. This is because Islam is not a man-made system. It's a religion that is the religion that means set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He made it complete and integrated in all of our life aspect. Indeed, when we explicitly experience the difference and gradually we realize how wonderful is our 
religious and the morality in Islam. By this, we come to the end of this episode. Hoping to see you in the next episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.